Without further ado, please join me in welcoming the director of Tony Erman, Marin Ade. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry you couldn't be here for the introduction. We're so happy you're here for the Q&A. I want to go straight to the audience if there are any first questions. Uh, so she's, she loved how you balanced uh, Inez's character and her uh, work dynamics as well as her, her personal um, uh, style and her family pressures. Can you discuss a little bit about how you uh, made her such a complex character? Louder, is that what you said? Louder, okay. <laughs> Inez. <laughs> how did um, you make her such a beautiful complex character? Um, yeah, with Ines, it was like, um, first I needed to, to do a really long research on, on, on the job she's doing. So this was something that I'm, yeah, I had to like, um, um, yeah, I, I met a lot of uh, women working in the business world. I was not decided in the beginning, like what job exactly she should, she should do. Um, but I got really interested in this um, uh, consultant consultancy or in, in that business because there's so much like performance involved and I found it uh, interesting in contrast to the father who's like also doing this yeah performance uh, in a way and yeah and, and actually it's more like also the work with Sandra was very important so um, to because you ask how what made her complex in a way um, she gave a lot to the character in, in terms of that she's like a very, she could play that very, very well. She's a very emotional actress who could like play this strong facade, but still you could like see through to her or that she's like um, um, suppressing a lot or like um, having, yeah, feelings still that she doesn't or things going on inside her that she doesn't say and so um, actually yeah it's uh, the writing took like two years for the for the script so yeah it's like a bit like digging a hole and then I come out somewhere so <laughs> yeah you came out at a beautiful place yeah. is there a next question up here and I'll go to the balcony after go ahead that's good from the second row that you enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, was there a com particularly uh, complex or challenging part of this shoot or making of this film? Um, so it was, I mean, what was, I mean, the work, there was a lot of work with the actors, like together with them to, to create the, the characters. Or, And with Peter, it was, um, it was a lot of work to like f that we had together had to find out that um, on one side he's um, he's a very good actor, but um, Winfried is a real person, so he's he's playing a, a normal person who starts this adventure to uh, to try to act in a way or like to um, to become someone else to like do this performance. So it was a really uh, a th yeah, a thin line. He had to he had to walk, um, not to overdo the Tony because it would have been, yeah, it would have been easy to like make him a big thing, you know, there or like a much more crazy character or so. Um, yeah, and to to find the right uh, tone for that. So we did a lot of um, repetitions. And yeah, with doing comedy or things that, I mean, when you start a shooting day and you know today you have to shoot something that is funny in the end, that is really a pain, a pain in the ass because you're like, oh my God, today I, we have, to, are we funny today? You are, you are, so it's like, a, it was the worst, um, because with drama you can still like, oh yeah, because you're much more often while shooting in a, dramatic or 
bad mood, so this works easier, I think. But the funny thing, yeah, sometimes like, <laughs> where does this, the story of the Bulgarian a hairy monster come from? Um, he comes from the mountains in Bulgaria. That's where he lives. He has a lot of um, friends living there in different colors. They, they can have different colors. And um, it really smells very, very much because it's, it's made out of real goats. And, um, and, and there's a special goat that has this long hair. And um, they really have to, yeah, they really raise the goats just for these costumes. And, um, and it's, uh, it's very interesting. It's, it's so heavy, you, you, it's, um, um, it's very hard to wear. And because the hat is like, um, you carry it on the, what's that? Uh, yeah, on the, the chin or the jaw, yeah. And so, and that makes it like lively because it's like, um, yeah, so the movement comes from the, from the neck, so. And it was really, we, when we met him the first time, we, it's really amazing, like standing next to him. It's like something, you, you have the feeling you know it from the zoo maybe, but you're not sure, so it's, it's, it's very lively, yeah. And I, it was a big luck too. It was in the script already that he like, I wanted him to, uh, choose a, a costume in the end where he almost disappears and um, so um, and I wanted a costume from Romania or that area I was good that it was I thought Bulgarian is okay so it's so close so I could like say it's I could use this because it was a big luck to to find that exactly yeah that animal thing uh, so the question is about the the song performance. What yeah. came first, the scene or the song? The scene or the song? That's the same. <laughs> the the song? No. Yeah. So okay. You wrote now the song I understand. As part of the scene. It was, it was, a scene with that song. So no, it it was a it was really um, um, I don't know. I never had another song for that scene. And I wanted, um, I searched for something like, um, that was like, yeah, I, I wanted that, I don't know if it works, but that you have like a picture coming up that the two were singing this together, maybe when she was younger, like maybe she forced him to, to play it again and again, or so, and um, yeah, I like that, I like the text of the song that, She's singing such a song with a with a lot of aggression, so yeah, it's always good to have some contrasts. <laughs> yeah, if she's angry at him, yeah, mm, yeah I mean, I think she um, uh, she's in a way like um, reluctant towards his. Approach like or she feels that he on one side he wants something, but also that he's also not completely honest in a way as a father because actually he's he's saying are you happy and uh, but on the sub level this means like what are you doing here so it's like um, and I think um, also in a way yeah that's also for me also she provokes the the Tony in a way like because she's saying to him yeah I don't um, um, I know men your age and I mean she's almost it's very cruel she's almost dismissing him as a father which is not possible but which is a very when she says to him yeah I would jump out of the window you're not the one who could change that so she also like it's very cruel but she wants also wants another form of communication for me and so it's and the Tony, and it's very, it's more radical, so it's more her language, like, although, um, yeah, they, it, the, they, yeah, they, it gets a bit more tough between them, but maybe more honest. A blue shirt, second row in the balcony. What's my favorite moment? In the film? Oh, um, I mean, they're like, 
several moments. I like a lot the when they wait at the elevator because um, the elevator really I wanted them to wait, that was in the script, but I didn't know how long. And the elevator at one point of the shooting, he really didn't come. And, and, that's, and that's when I thought like, oh, this is so, um, this is really good for the scene. And it was a little present the elevator made to the film. And since then I like <laughs> told the people like, send the elevator very late. And I stretched it longer and longer because I knew I could edit it in, in the end. And they were like really, one, because it was like um, the actors were never allowed like to finish a take before I say thank you. Like, so they were like, how long do you want us to, <laughs> to wait at that elevator? Because I was so fascinated what happens when they just stand there. So. Now we're all going to think about that every time we wait for an elevator, it'll be a little less painful. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for bringing your film Thank to us you. tonight. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you and have a wonderful much. festival. <laughs>